Welcome back guys. Today we have a Game Gear for repair. Um, the soundboard, you can see in the video on the picture there. Uh, you can barely hear it. So usually the problem with these devices is that the capacitors, uh, because they're very old, they go bad. So we have to replace those capacitors. You can see on that exact picture there that I have already replaced that capacitor. I was not planning on making this video, but I figured this might help some of you guys up there, out there. And this is the capacitor that I took out. You can see on the sides, the reason I replaced this is because you could see some corrosion on the legs. You see that? So I went ahead and replaced it with a new capacitor. So we're gonna go ahead and do this soundboard. We have three capacitors left, I'll be showing you or I'll be doing these capacitors the way uh, you know I've been doing them and uh, hopefully you guys can learn something and apply it to your knowledge or to your repair if you guys have any questions you can always leave it in the comments or, or contact me directly via our website that's on the description so the way I do this is I apply a little bit of flux and we're just going to apply a little bit of flux on all the capacitors here And you gotta see, you gotta make sure, by the way, the capacitor kit was ordered ordered uh, via eBay and the customer just brought it in, so we're just doing the job for him. Gotta make sure that the, it's the same voltage, same uh, microfarads. So you can see that this is three volts, 6.3 volts, I'm sorry, right there. And these ones are six volts, so it'll be fine in the 100 UF, okay? Right there. So the way I do it is I apply a little bit of solder. And use your, I use my thumb here to kind of pick it up. You pick it up a little bit and it's good. So you know that that side is done. I'm mixing this solder with this solder, the other solder that's on there already, so that it, the solder that I'm using is uh, low, low temperature solder, so it melts really fast. So you can see that we lifted that pass it properly, apply a little more solder. I like to do one capacitor at a time. That way we don't mix them up. Even though these are all the same, 6 volts, 100 microfarads, or UF, it should be fine. You gotta line these, the negative with the negative, the stripe here with this one, and the positive is the other side. And these are a little different, so I like to spread them out like this and cut them right around there. Apply a little more solder. Have your tweezers, put it in place to one side first. Let me grab a little solder on the tip of the iron. that one's in place that one's in place 
come back and push this one a little bit and there you go so that's exactly the same thing I'm gonna I'm gonna do on the rest of the um, capacitors I'll do one more and I won't show you I gotta do the power board as well but it's the same procedure so there's no point in me showing you guys so you will again you grab a little solder mix it with the solder that's already in there kind of rub it in there and pick it up with your hand or your thumbnail sure you don't get burned okay then you grab a little bit of flux prepare the other capacitor the most important one very important thing I guess it is the most important thing is make sure you don't miss this mix mess this up and put the negative in the negative and the positive and the positive and the get negative so make sure you do it the way it's supposed to be done otherwise you will make a short and damage other components So here's the other one. Once you get the hang of it, it's very easy. So that's another one. Might as well do this one, I guess. You got to be careful when you pull them out not to lift the pads so there's that one These uh, capacitors have a weird smell to them. I guess it's because of the corrosion or the age. It's pr smell pretty weird. Stripe with the negative negative with negative solder on that leg I 
I will do the rest of the boards. I gotta do the power board as well as the main board. But this is how you do it, okay? This is the soundboard with brand new capacitors in place. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And we'll see you guys again soon.